I had to do a sanity check on this because they did in fact say Warframe's Lunar New Year celebration returns for the Year of the Dragon on January 24th at 2pm ET, available on all platforms. 2pm ET. So imagine my amazement when, what would it be, 34 minutes past 1pm on the 24th, I am... Um, yeah, they decided to change the time it went live. It actually went live at 11 a.m. ET, not 2 p.m. ET. Thanks, Digital Extreme. Because the update went live at, well, just beforehand, and the Lunar New Year celebration is live. Which means, in here, we should have, hopefully, purchasable separately. Yes, they actually did make this. This was going to be the first thing I went in to try and... F did I just see... I did just see that correctly. Oh, wow. There's not just the the glowing yellow dragons floating around you. It looks like there's two of them that we can see. That other image from earlier? When they announced this, I said, this needs to be an ephemera. They have no excuse not to make this an ephemera. It looks like an ephemera. And it is. Oh, I love that. Uh, that ephemera looks absolutely amazing. It needed to happen. They had no excuse for this not to be a thing. And there it, I am so happy that what they showed us was actually the ephemera and not some stupid hyped up thing that was never going to be a thing. It exists. So that's basically all I wanted from the whole Lunar New Year celebration thing. This ephemera. I didn't expect the third dragon. That was a nice touch by them. But of course, they have split this into three different packs. Seven day booster for affinity or credits. Actually, it's and credits, never mind. <laughs> a new core skin for the Lunar New Year. Um, hopefully it works on the Kuva version. Yeah, it should. It's just that one. 20,000 Kuva, and probably more importantly than any of this, that silly little image that they had earlier. Chroma in his whole dragon setup. Yeah, that is what... Oh my god, that motion blur is so bad. That is actually an in-game floof. And I'm saying that at the same time as also checking on something else because that right there would have made a great floof for them to actually make, you know, on their merch store rather than the cavat that they made or any of the other stuff they've made recently. Rather than them do daft things like make a statue that takes over two years to actually reach people's possession, that floof would have been amazing. But for the extra 30 Platinum, you should basically have got all of that and the Deluxe skin. Because, oh yes, that whole Chroma thing, it is actually a skin that you can purchase in-game. Hopefully, that no, that is just new. That is not going anywhere because it doesn't say limited time. It is the limited time stuff that will disappear in February. This, hopefully stays forever because I love that helmet from the first imagery the kind of short of this it was like that needs to be a chroma deluxe skin and lo and behold there it is oh the middle sized pack does that come with it it does not oh that is a huge shame it comes with the Luna Renew theme and background from last year a sigil, uh, a Zaw ribbon, and a kick gun ribbon. Really? It doesn't come with all the stuff from the previous pack. Are you kidding me? You've got to buy these things separately. Um, no. <laughs> Just no. What were they thinking? So you can actually purchase each thing individually. Yes, that means you can also purchase the floof individually. 35 platinum instead of buying the whole pack that's actually not bad 25 platinum for the new core skin 35 for the floof if it wasn't for that horrible horrible motion blur that is happening whenever you move anything in this game at the moment 
Yeah, I don't know what's doing that. But then there is the big pack, the Dragon Storm Bundle. That yet again, it's just seven day boosters, but it is all of them. 50,000 Kuva, 500,000 credits, does come with his deluxe skin, and the ephemera that is, of course, purchasable separately, and the Ogress skin. Now, the only downside I can see about this is uh, it doesn't come with the other skins. They should have packaged it so, you know, that's the entry level. That has that with it, and that one has that with it. Oh my god. That's not worm. That looks like worm. That's not worm. Correction, before I go on any further, I thought I'd quickly have a look, and yes, you can actually get Dragon Dance as a bundle which will turn any of your sentinels into a dragon. I agree, Digital Extreme massively dropped the ball yet again because this has the word skin in it instead of Dragon Dance being a sentinel that was only available right now for the next month. That would have been awesome. Time limited sentinel. They didn't do that. But at the same time, I'm actually really happy to see that not only do we, yeah, all of it is purchasable separately, but if you're going for the body, you may as well go for the head, because it just looks weird without the dragon head on there. Looks like somebody took the dragon and chopped its head off. The head? Yeah, you may as well just buy the whole pack if you want to buy just the Sentinel stuff, which is, of course, available separately. I mean, come on, just look at it. That... Oh, that is so worth it. Not just that, this is probably one of the only Sentinels that actually has eyes. It actually looks, when all put together, like a dragon. And no, I'm not going to take the colours off. Yeah, that's, that's staying on. But of course, it is his effigy that... kind of wanders around. Uh, where do you think you're going? but actually has the wings that they are kind of showing off in all of the artwork for this thing. And, well, Chroma would actually be the frame itself. Just kind of chilling out here as the effigy goes for a bit of a wonder. It all just goes so well together. Even down to the fact that, well, I thought it was fire that was in the hands of the dragon skin? They're not, the kind of gems that are emitting fire. As for the actual fire effect coming off it, uh, I will admit to cheating for that one to make it look slightly better. That's a uh, vengeful flame ephemera. That, that's an ephemera, not actually part of the skin. Yeah, I could have put it the same colors that, well, to be fair, the effigy has left the building. <laughs> but even without the effigy, just the the way the ephemera kind of works, I'm really glad that the red dragon disappears as you're actually moving because that would be distracting as hell and then comes back when you stop moving. Mixed with an actual frame skin and the sentinel and the effigy that uh, returned apparently. This thing just doesn't want to leave. It's also sticking around for a long, long time. <gasps> it stopped. Damn, these things do look really nice. For once, Digital Extreme have finally done something well. I would have been happy with just the Sentinel. The Ephemera, really nice touch. Then throw on a Dragon-style skin for Chroma. Yeah, that kind of suits him pretty well. Uh, they're not wrong on that one. All together, though? Mm. I'm probably still going to end up buying the floof because you're going to have to buy it separately, but this is all simply down to the fact that, as expected, 
all of the previous Lunar New Year stuff has returned and I didn't think the Kavats actually would but they have as have all of the weapon skins the Kubro skin uh, sadly with platinum the peach blossom ephemera that has returned glad to see that's come back as have previous floofs weapon skins I still cannot justify buying that. It's a Sugatra. The Ephemera from last year, I do believe that was. The previous floofs from previous years, so you can still pick up all of them. Basically, everything prior to this year has returned with this year, which I'm glad to see that is a thing and they've brought out more better things. Before we we'll go any further, because I probably forgot to mention it, you may as well jump in and pick up the glyph that is available. It's one credit, and being a glyph, I can't see them taking this away when this ends, but it doesn't say whether it is or is not a permanent item that I can find. That is subject to them changing it, since they've already changed things since I started doing this. Uh, may as well pick up the glyph. It is one credit, not platinum credit and they always tend to have special things like that in here it may not be a color palette but it is a glyph it was nice when they came out for the year of the tiger to have a cat floof no matter how you want to put it it's a cat floof then last year they did a kind of similar thing for the the year of the rabbit and brought out rabbit floof so kind of expected a dragon one this year and technically I mean, you know, it's still a, still a dragon. That is very clearly a dragon head. It just has a chroma inside of it. Which in itself, I am so, so happy they actually continued with the floofs. Everything else I would love to say was going to be completely and utterly meaningless. But as the effigy kind of wanders around on its own, that is a really nice skin for Chroma. The Ephemera, if they didn't make one, somebody should get into trouble for that one. But they did, so they don't need to be. And it looks amazing. And then to top it all off with... Dare we say possibly the best Sentinel skin they have ever done? It's about time. Digital Extreme, finally, finally doing something right. And with that, we'll leave this off here. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.